going to be li liabil liabilities. And maybe I don't need the colon because I'm going to yellowify it. And then let's make that a yellow. Yellow. Put that yellow on my paintbrush. Home tab. Dip in that paintbrush into the yellow paint bucket. So I can paint it right there. Painted it yellow. And then we got the current. Current liabilities colon. Which is going to be equal to the accounts payable. All these are current. Well, the loan payable might. We'll say that's long term. The loan payable. So this is going to be current. Let's make this cell larger. It's not too skinny already, but we're going to make it wide. This is a wide cell. It's a fat cell. So here we go. This is equal. I don't want to call it a fat cell, but it's certainly not skinny. So that's going to be the 15,000. And then this is going to be equal to the visa, which nothing is in there yet. So this is going to be, an, we always want to say negative because I, I want to flip the sign from this negative credit to actual, uh, we don't have debits and credits over here because it's, it's assets equal liabilities plus equity, the accounting equation. And so that's going to give us total current liabilities. I think this is spelled wrong. I fixed it. Don't worry, I fixed it. Current liabilities. What about the hundred other things you spelled wrong? Whatever. My spelling, it is what it is. So we're going to go to the home tab, alignment, indent this one. And then we'll indent this one again. Alignment, indent again. Let's put an underline here by going to the font group and underline. And then we'll sum this in the outer column. Equals the sum, otherwise known as the S-U-M. Summing it up. So there we go. Now let's pick up the equity side of things. Now notice this is this is total liabilities. Well, let's put the long-term liabilities down here as well. So let's say that we'll have long-term liabilities colon, which just all we have right now is this one in the long term, which nothing's there, but we're thinking that loan payable is going to happen at some time. And I'm going to say negative of that zero to pick it up when it does happen. When it does happen, we're going to be picking that thing up. Now, when you only have one thing in the category, I might just call this total, total liabilities and just put it in the outer column. 